This event takes place Sunday, November 15th here at Etihad Stadium. And tickets go on sale to the public Monday, September 21st. Monday, September 21st to the public. This whole women's power movement that's going on right now is, is crazy. Uh, you know, Rhonda has been the whole thing. I mean, Rhonda is the one who launched this whole thing. I, I wouldn't have done it if it wasn't for Rhonda. She, she was the one that convinced me to do it, and it's the best decision I've ever made. I mean, we're sitting here in, in Melbourne, Australia, with a main event and co-main event are women with a possible 70,000 you know, seat arena sellout. It's never been done in the history of combat sports. And uh, it's, it's, it's awesome, it's powerful, it's cool. I'm really glad to be a part of it. I can't really be aggressive right away. And um, because Holly's a counter puncher and she has a reach advantage on me and she's the kind of person that I have to be a lot more careful with and a lot more methodical and set things up. That being said, she's a 19-time boxing world champion, not MMA world champion, and I believe that I'm better than every other girl in every area of MMA. MMA striking is different, and I think I'm the best at it. Well, as far as Rhonda's performances, not just some of them have been impressive, all of them have been impressive, so, I mean, nobody can argue with that. Um, styles make a difference. Uh, there's not a lot of footage of film to watch on her, so that's a challenge for us, right? <laughs> when you have like three fights equaling to like one minute, so you know you don't have a ton of film to look at. But that's why I really put a lot of faith and, and a lot of trust in my in my coaches that are really really masterminds at putting together a great game plan. It's so many dreams come true for me this year: um, fighting for Tao, fighting for in Australia and fighting, especially in that place, with such a big crowd, and it seems like people respond very well right now um, for the UFC 193, so we are pretty excited about it. Yeah. I'm very happy to, be, to fight on the same card with Ronda. I'm happy to, to fight uh, in Australia. Uh, I had main event fight in, in Berlin. It was my first title defend uh, on the end of June. So I'm, I'm very happy that I have come even fight on UFC 193. I was super happy that she beat Marina Moros because she had really big mouth in, uh, on UFC uh, fight night in Krakow. So she called me and she want, want, wants to fight me, but uh, Valerie did a great job with Marina Moros. Uh, she almost knocked her out in the first round. So she did well and she deserved to fight for a title. I want to take it one second at a time because you can't blink with Rhonda. You've got to be focused from the first bell to the very last bell. You can't, you know, kind of sit back and think you can cruise through a fight like that. So I just want to stay focused and, and keep on what we've worked on and keep on that game plan every second of the fight. You know, I, I just kind of play it by ear every single time after a fight. It's not about how many fights I have left or how much time I have left. It's how much actual fight time I have left. And so if me and Holly have a five-round brawl, I'm not going to have as many fights left in me. And if I walk out completely unscathed, I'm going to have plenty of more. So it, it, it really depends. Um, I'm really just thinking about beating Holly, and that's it. And I'm not really thinking about too far down the line. When it becomes more of an immediate goal, then it'll get more of my focus. But at this moment, she has all of my focus, and that's it.